Hi, my name is Nuda O'Connor. I'm the author of a book called Tap Into Success and being a kinesiologist, energist and coach, wellness coach, tapping coach, I'm all about helping women over 40 to retune their mind, their body and their soul to reach their greatest potential. Life doesn't have to be difficult when you're hitting in through or past the menopause. In fact, it should get better. The problem is we get too stressed and that can come in every direction and we need to help ourselves. We need to be doing the things that we need to be doing to help ourselves through what, everything that's going on right now. I work with tapping for helping us to retune our thoughts, but also it helps to retune your whole neurotransmitter energies, which is a big thing around stress and menopause time. But I also offer you a form of exercise that is easy compared to others and one that you can build up gradually every week one minute a day for well you build it up one minute a week really and before you know it you'll get from one minute a day to <laughs> to 20 minutes a day or more if you wish gently but gradually and definitely you notice the difference your confidence will build your mind will clear you'll feel lighter in your body but listen because we've been through and we've gone through a stressful life whether that's rearing children or just work and trying to balance work and children and home and house and you know it's women who have suffered a lot through this whole um, lockdown situation simply because women are expected to do all the things that happen at home now I'm not dissing men and I'm not saying that there aren't great fellas out there who are doing brilliant jobs as well and there's a lot of teamwork going on but essentially a lot of it falls down. that's what I'm hearing a lot of it falls down on on the women so are you exercising for your wellness you see exercise doesn't have to be all about fitness in fact it, it shouldn't be about fitness it should be about wellness fitness comes when you're well fitness comes when your body is at its optimal place but when you get into wanting to always be fit fit fitter 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 you're pushing your body and you will push your body too far when you're exercising for wellness you listen to your body and you'll do what your body needs. I have found rebounding, here's my rebounder, I have found this the best form of exercise and I am not joking. Now, I also like to get outside. I like, not today, stormy weather here, but I like to get outside in daylight as well because I want to feel, feed my pineal gland, my pituitary gland. I want to get out into the daylight and let the vitamin D, let my skin do its job there as well. But, I want to work my lymphatic system well. I want to keep my bones. We need daily weight-bearing exercise. We need daily weight-bearing exercise. This is a weight-bearing exercise, but the rebounder, especially if it's a bungee sprung rebounder, will absorb roughly around 87% of the impact. That's pretty low impact, and you're still getting your weight-bearing exercise. The rebounder, the act of rebounding, brings you from three, two to three times, maybe even four times your, your own gravity force to like, weightless every time you bound. And you're bounding all the time. You're up, down, up, down, rebounding. But it can, it, it, so gen you can do it so gently and get so much from it. You might think, how can I get much benefit from one minute a day? See, that's, you're starting at one minute a day and you're building up gradually. And that minute is easy to do. You can do it. You can do it twice a day. You can even do it three times a day initially if you wish. But it's one minute and it's really gentle rebounding that you're doing. Check out my website to find out about it. The link is in this post. But it's it's one minute, and then it builds to two, and then it goes to three. And you start with a walking motion, but you're not lifting your legs off the rebounder. Because if you're like me, going through the menopause, it can leave a lot of your muscles around your abdomen weak you need a lot of nutrition and nutritional support to help you with that as well and if that's happening it means your body's under stress and when your body's under stress your adrenal glands can't do what they need to do to support you through the menopause it'll do the cortisol thing first that's what i've discovered that's it's it's not just me who's discovered it it's been discovered by many other kinesiologists biochemists people out there so what you need to do is calm the stress system i use tapping for that but exercise as well Will help you calm that this clears your whole lymphatic system you find your head gets clearer you find your mood gets better 
And you'll find that you're so much more confident even at exercising because you know you can do one minute a day and two minutes a day and three minutes a day. And as somebody said to me recently, you don't even realize that you have increased your load and all of a sudden you're at 15 minutes a day because it's only gradually, you're adding in one minute extra all the time and you know you can add in one minute, you can add in one minute all the time. And then you get to 20 and you don't push it any further than that because you have that 20 minute window. And if you're struggling to find that 20 minute window, try get up early in the morning. Get yourself out of the bed earlier in the morning, just that five, 10 minutes, getting that little bit brighter. So try and get up with the sun, try and get up with the, the daylight coming in and get those 20 minutes on the rebounder. Go to bed that little 10, 15, 20 minutes earlier in the evening time. Listen, this is the best form of exercise you could be doing. Check through, there's loads of videos here on this page. Let, let your friends know about this page. Book the programs over on my website. But if you have a rebounder and you're not on it, get it out. I don't sit on my rebounder very often, let me tell you that. But even if you did, even if you're somebody who maybe doesn't have the proper use of their legs, you could literally sit on your rebounder and give yourself a little bit of exercise on it. You're still working your lymphatic system that little bit. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. Okay? Um, I haven't thought about programs about like that for people either. But listen, all I wanted to do was tell you a little bit about rebounding and encourage you to get a rebounder and get on the rebounder and get on with living your best life. You deserve it.